Hi, Gary Stearman. It is Tuesday, August 14th, and time for another update from Prophecy in the News. Watching the Middle East, we're watching Egypt, among other places, where uh, something very, very interesting and ominous has taken place uh, over the last weekend. The Muslim Brotherhood has essentially effected an anti-army coup in Cairo. Having gained control of the Egyptian parliament, the government, the presidency, the Muslim Brotherhood has made itself the unchallenged ruler of Egypt. Demoting the heads of the military leaves the Muslim Brotherhood in control of the biggest army in the Arab world. Three generals in the army and in the Air Force have been sacked by Morsi, and he also annulled the law amendments endowing the military in general with broad powers. So he's defanged the military. He now controls the Muslim Brotherhood, which has become uh, the, the Egyptian military in the process. <clears throat> Field General Tantawi, General Anan were regarded as the last major impediments to the Muslim Brotherhood's complete takeover of Egypt. Morsi's action has cast Egypt's military cast out into uncertain territory with regard to its future status in government. <clears throat> Morsi's actions in the last month have aroused serious concern for the United States and Israel. And by the way, his coup last Sunday uh, really put the cap on things. Uh, people in, in the Western Hemisphere now are beginning to wonder what effect uh, this may have. And again, that Sunday coup, and we're talking about last Sunday, gave power, basically all the power that he needs to Mohammed Morsi. And as if by magic, M60 tanks uh, in the last two days have been deployed across Israel's southern border, Egypt's northern border. By the way, these are M60 tanks. They are United States tanks, uh, the result of weapons deals made between the United States and Egypt uh, over the past uh, few years. And, and they are uh, modern, they are up to date, and they are armed to the teeth, poised for attack on the southern border of Israel. It's not yet clear whether Israel was caught off guard by all this, uh, but uh, I, I suspect not. <clears throat> In the New York Post, uh, Ambassador John Bolton commented upon this and many other things. Now, uh, Bolton was uh, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations from August of 2005 to December 2006, and is considered to be one of the very, very bright uh, analysts of Middle East affairs. And he comments this way. He says, most immediately in Egypt, Sunday's forced, quote-unquote, retirement of top military officials, including Defense Minister Mohammed Tantawi, epitomizes the shift to the Muslim Brotherhood. <clears throat> Mohammed Morsi also pur purportedly uh, rescinded a military degree that had sought to restrict his own powers. How this unfolding struggle will play out is unclear, says Bolton. But the stakes are enormous. Already Egypt's uh, Sinai Peninsula has descended into anarchy since Hosni Babarik's fall last year and is now a terrorist thoroughfare and Hamas missile testing ground. Israel had earlier consented to Egypt, uh, Egyptian troops moving into the Sinai, but the situation only deteriorated. Uh, while increasing Egypt's Sinai deployments seems sensible in the near term, what happens if and when the terrorist threat is eliminated? Will Egypt's forces large, largely return to the Suez Canal, the west bank of the Suez Canal, or will land for peace, that is the Camp David Accords that we have made with Egypt, be completely gutted? And, of course, uh, Ambassador Bolton thinks that they will be. <clears throat> we have terrorist threats from the Sinai coming up uh, now into Israel. And uh, he writes this, and I'm going to quote this paragraph directly from uh, John Bolton. Chaos is also evident on Israel's northern flank. Syria's civil war is now largely a surrogate conflict pitting Russia and Iran against the Sunni Arab world. 
And there you have it. Uh, I guess you could say peace in the Middle East. You know, uh, I've read this prophecy before, but there is a very, very stark prophecy that has never been fulfilled concerning Egypt. Certainly this is a latter-day prophecy in Ezekiel 29, verse 10. Behold, therefore I am against thee and against thy rivers. Now the I in this is the Lord, <clears throat> as spoken uh, through the prophet Ezekiel. Behold, therefore I am against thee and against thy rivers, and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate, from the tower of Syene even unto the border of Ethiopia. No man shall pass through it, nor foot of beast shall pass through it, neither shall it be inhabited for forty years. And I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and her cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate forty years, and I'll scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and I will disperse them through the countries. We have and have had for a long time a, an Egyptian-Russian uh, cooperative agreement, mutual defense pact, if you will, <clears throat> and it's showing up again. Uh, the Egyptians are right there uh, when Mohammed Morsi makes uh, his move. By the way, I have another uh, <coughs> little news item here that, that rather well fits this case. August 14th, <coughs> a Russian nuclear-powered attack sub uh, armed with long-range cruise missiles operated undetected in the Gulf of Mexico for several weeks, and its travel in the strategic United States waters was only confirmed after it left the region. It's only the second time since 2009 that a Russian attack sub has patrolled so close to U.S. shores. Now, what are they doing patrolling close to U.S. shores? Uh, at the same time, they're developing their power in the eastern Mediterranean and in Egypt. And by the way, I should also add, in Syria, because we've been reporting now for many days, uh, the Syrian uh, upheaval is augmented by Russian weaponry, which is being offloaded at the port of Tartus in the eastern Mediterranean, shipped by rail uh, into all parts of Syria. And the rebels are being supplied uh, with Russian weaponry. So the Russian presence uh, has not departed. The Russian pres presence uh, is lying low. It's difficult to see, and when you watch the daily news, of course, you won't hear about uh, Russian aggression, but if you know where to look in the backwaters of the newspapers, you will see that the Russians are very, very busy indeed. And where the Russians are, <clears throat> there are nuclear weapons. We know, we've known that for a long time. And I come back to this prophecy that I read uh, concerning the destruction of Egypt. It, it sounds distinctly nuclear to me. Uh, verse 11 of Ezekiel 29 says, uh, No foot of man shall pass through it, that's Egypt, nor foot of beast shall pass through it, neither shall it be inhabited for forty years. Well, what can I say? Something uh, is getting ready to pop, and all of the parties, uh, the conflicted parties, are in place right now. I don't think we have to wait another day. Everything is there, and so we are watching, and we invite you to watch along with us. Keep looking up, everybody.